Good morning and welcome to our celebration of the sixth Sunday of Easter. Yes, we are continuing our Easter Alleluias, and it's a joy to be able to be together today. I'm Father Andy Pavlik, the pastor of Our Lady of the Most Holy Rosary here on the West Mesa, and I'm being assisted today by Deacon Michael Illebron from Nativity of the Blessed Virgin Mary. My friends, Easter still has a couple of good strong weeks ahead of, it, ahead of us, and so we're not done yet. We have a lot to hear about in our scriptures, we have a lot to hear about in our, our thought processes, and so let us begin by marking ourselves with the sign of our faith in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of our God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. As we prepare to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our constant need for God's love and mercy in our lives. Lord Jesus, you raise the dead to life in the spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring light to those in darkness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, Almighty God, that we may celebrate with heartfelt devotion these days of joy, which we keep in honor of the risen Lord, and that what we relive in remembrance we may always hold to in what we do. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Philip went down to the city of Samaria and proclaimed the Christ to them. With one accord, the crowds paid attention to what was said by Philip when they heard it and saw the signs he was doing. For unclean spirits crying out in a loud voice came out of many possessed people, and many paralyzed or crippled people were cured. There was a great joy in that city. Now when the apostles in Jerusalem heard that Samaria had accepted the word of God, they sent them Peter and John, who went down and prayed for them, that they might receive the Holy Spirit, for it had not yet fallen upon any of them. They had only been baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. Then they laid hands on them, and they received the Holy Spirit. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Shout 
joyfully to God all the earth. Sing praise to the glory of his name. Proclaim his glorious praise. Say to God, how tremendous are your deeds. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Let all on earth worship and sing praise to you. Sing praise to your name. Come and see the works of God, his tremendous deeds among the children of Adam. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Beloved, sanctify Christ as Lord in your hearts. Always be ready to give an explanation to anyone who asks you for a reason for your hope. But do it with gentleness and reverence, keeping your conscience clear so that when you are maligned, those who defame your good conduct in Christ may themselves be put to shame. For it is better to suffer for doing good, if that be the will of God, than for doing evil. For Christ also suffered for sins once, the righteous for the sake of the unrighteous, that he might lead you to God. Put to death in the flesh he was brought to life in the spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, If you love me, you will keep my commandments. And I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to be with you always, the Spirit of Truth, whom the world cannot accept, because it neither sees nor knows him. But you know him because he remains with you and will be in you. I will not leave you orphans. I will come to you. In a little while the world will no longer see me, but you will see me because I live and you will live. On that day you will realize that I am in my Father and you are in me and I in you. Whoever has my commandments and observes them is the one who loves me. And whoever loves me will be loved by my Father, and I will love him and reveal myself to him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Once again, good morning, everyone. Jesus Christ is risen. He is risen indeed, hallelujah. He is risen indeed, hallelujah. Back in the first Sunday of Easter. Now, 
six weeks ago, um, that's how I always introduce the masses, to see, you know, in those first 400 years we were a persecuted church, and we had lots of kind of secret, kind of handshake kind of things, and that was one of them. If you came up to a Christian who said, Jesus Christ is risen, and they responded, he is risen indeed, hallelujah, you knew you were with friends, so it's good to be with friends again. On this sixth, oh my goodness, Sunday of Easter. By this time in any season, we can start to get... Ugh, a little like, oh, are we done yet? Can we move on? And when? But it's such a joyful opportunity to continue this Easter celebration, especially as we look to what's coming next. You know, we're always about being present to where we are, looking back to where we've been, and looking forward to where we're going. Today, both in, um, well, all the readings, we hear about the Holy Spirit, sanctification of Christ, and then um, the reality of what Jesus is giving in this advocate. See, they, we're, we're kind of, if you notice, we're kind of getting set. You know, Pentecost is just about two weeks away. Pentecost, the birthday of the church, the conclusion of our Easter season. And so he's starting... Our lectionary editors, Jesus and, his, and to his followers, and we're starting to get into that mindset. But Pentecost, I think, is one of those ones when he, you know, he talks about the advocate, you know, and, and the way he's been captured in John's gospel is sometimes, you know, gives us more kind of need to reflect on things than clarity, as sometimes comes in some of the other gospels, especially the synoptics. But now we're getting to the crux of what Jesus in the spirit we are seeing the reality of the works that have been done in the name of the father and how the jesus reflects the father and the father reflects the relationship with the son and we see how we fit into that whole reality too what do we do with the spirit well we're going to say that for pentecost but we are people of the spirit we are the people who, as we've heard in the Acts of the Apostles all Easter season, you know, we're, we're witnessing the miracles of what happened in that early church and continue to happen in our lives now, too. But whoever, we have to close with this ending of this, of this gospel today, whoever loves me will be loved by my Father. See, it's kind of like I call it theological algebra, right? We are loved by our Jesus. Jesus is loved by the Father. They have a relationship. We have a relationship. We all have this wonderful relationship, all based in what the whole season of our Easter is about. And really, our whole faith is based on this understanding of relationship and love. How are you living that? Are you tired with the Easter season? Are you like, oh, you know, everyone's moved on. You know, everyone's, you know, I've, young people are counting the weeks now until they're done with school, right? Some teachers are counting the days until they're done with school, right? Um, college students are, you know, we're getting into graduation seasons and all the endings of things. But we still stand solidly in this wonderful Easter season. And for that, we are truly blessed. Yes, the advocate is coming. That spirit of truth is, is what's kept us going in so many wonderful ways, you know, making our church a dynamic force to be reckoned with. And we have to not kind of feel like we've been left to be orphans because we, we've not been, you know, even though there are difficult times, even though, you know, more and more it seems like you get to a certain age and you go to more funerals than you do weddings, right? And it seems like everybody in your circle is starting to, even young people, you know, I keep being told by my viejos and viejas, that oh, you're so young. I'm like, why is it that so many people in my era are already dying? You know, there's so many challenges that we're given, and in many cases it's very, very difficult. But we are not or orphans. We are not abandoned by our God. The Holy Spirit continues to guide and support us, and all these things are part of what this, this time of the year is really all about. May we then embrace, pray for all those people who are going through difficult times, pray for all the areas where there is still war and problems, and may we continue to grow as one family in Christ as we realize here and now what it means to be a Spirit-filled people looking forward to and receiving the gift of the Advocate. My dear friends, as we continue our Easter season, we profess our Apostles' Creed by responding to the question, what do you believe? I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, 
suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. On the cross, Jesus surrendered his life to the Father for all women and men. Let us now pray in the confidence of this surrender with these, our prayers, on this Easter day. For all the baptized, that we proclaim Christ by the power of the Holy Spirit, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the people of our towns and cities, that they pay attention to the Christian message this Easter and receive it with joy, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For mothers, women who cannot conceive, and those who have lost children, that they receive grace to enjoy their blessings and bear their crosses, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who cannot accept the spirit of truth, that their hearts be converted, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this Eucharistic gathering, that we love Christ and sanctify him as Lord in our hearts, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Good and gracious God, your Holy Spirit speaks for us. Grant what our Advocate inspires us to ask in the name of the risen Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept sacrifice at your hands, for the praise and glory is to you. For our good and the good of all God's May our prayers rise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that, purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. By the oblation of his body, he brought the sacrifices of old to fulfillment in the reality of the cross, and, by commending himself to you for our salvation, showed himself, the priest, the altar, and the lamb of sacrifice. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim... Holy, 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 Son of Elias, bless 
blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and, once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new, an eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, John Charles, our Bishop, Michael, our Emeritus Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, and with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, o amen, o amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we now dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that, by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your Let us offer one another a sign of peace. Peace to you, Deacon. Thank you, Father. Lamb of God,
My dear sisters and brothers, behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this paschal sacrament, and pour into our hearts the strength of the saving food. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. I would clearly be remiss if we didn't acknowledge all the mothers on this very special Mother's Day. So if your mother is still living, please spoil her rotten today. And if your mothers and godmothers and grandmothers have gone to God, hold them in a very special place in your thoughts and prayers as we remember all the holy women in our lives on a day like today. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, oh, oh my soul, worship his holy name. Sing like never before, oh my soul, I'll worship your holy name. I'll worship Archdiocese of Santa Fe Catholic Schools. Faith in education. We are 15 elementary schools, St. Michael's and St. Pius X High School. Proven academics. 99% of our high school graduates attend college. Our schools are communities. Small class sizes and activities that bond students. Catholic values and traditions. Theology and community service programs. More affordable than you think. Have faith. In Catholic education. Archdiocese of Santa Fe Catholic Schools. Learn more today.